I, I would like to read uh, Wong Jishin biography. Uh, he is a South Korean documentary photographer based in New York and Seoul. He holds a bachelor degree in linguistics from Korea University and completed a documentary and photojournalism course at School of International Center of Photography. Wong Jishin's primary subject matter is suppressed or marginalized beings in the social landscape. His works have been published in the Washington Post, the New York Times, New Yorker, Newsweek, and Bloomberg Businessweek, among others, and exhibited in many galleries in New York and Seoul. The Museum of City of New York permanently collects his works on the Occupy Wall Street movement, New York City space. While developing his photography project intensively, Wong Ji is lecturing semiotics at Korea University and photography at Sukyuk Wan University in Seoul. He is a brand ambassador of Leisha Camera Korea. Sorry for my pronunciation <laughs> for your name. And, it was a perfect uh, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I give uh, you the floor to make your presentation titled Shamanism as an Identity in Sound Korean Documentary Photography. Very interesting. Here you are. Uh, thank you so much for the introduction. Uh, let me open my uh, file first. Uh, okay, so uh, I try this, but uh, uh, first okay. open your file and then try to share. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I open the file. Uh huh. Then share it. Yes. Uh, Is it okay now? Wait a second, please. Uh, uh, your file should be open, and then you can share. Okay. Uh, would you tell me which icon should I? Uh, uh, okay. Uh, there was. The, uh, there is an arrow icon at the bottom of your screen. Yes. Can you see it? Yeah, I click it, but it's inactive. Uh -huh. then, and yeah. then uh, click the window, mm -hmm. window tab, and share your presentation. And share your screen. Uh, I must, uh... Please uh, select the file you present. Mm -hmm and then share okay wait a second i have the i have a technical problem so please uh pardon me for 30 seconds because i okay. have to okay try it uh, try it from the start firstly you should open your file and it should be on the screen and then you should press the arrow icon at the bottom of our screen then select the window tab and share your uh, file again, okay? Okay. Uh, because it says the I need I need some permission. Uh, wait a second. All permissions are open. I I think. Let me try this again. Uh, so, uh, give up mm. sharing, and first you open your file, your presentation file. Yeah. It must file. Be open, open, opposite you, and then, yeah. then uh, come here to uh, meet. Google Meet, and uh, you see the arrow button on, online, on, it's not off, it's on, and the bottom of the screen, you see it? Yeah, I uh, I keep clicking the button. Uh... Uh, it is the fifth icon at the bottom of yeah. the screen. Yeah, that's, and then, that's what, uh... you should choose the tab. And and then you should choose the window tab at yeah, the window. table. Okay, 
window tab and then share your presentation. The window tab that your presentation is included. Share this window. Maybe you can send us and we can present if it isn't. Uh, oh. Is it working now? Uh, I think it, it will work. Is it working? Uh, yeah, 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 yes. But uh, no, you share your all screen. Not to share your all screen. You should share the tab window. Only the window you sh uh, you want to. Sorry. Yeah, I tried it. Uh, I'll try again. Only yeah. share uh, share the file you want to present. Not Microsoft Edge. Please uh, click the uh, window and yeah. share yeah, your we... file again. I believe you will. You can do it yes what about this is it working now uh -huh. is it working no we are waiting but try it again please yes is it working yes, yes it's working oh, Thank you. oh finally good sorry. job good job sorry, <laughs> Come oh, sorry. My God. yeah uh actually <laughs> like my homework i uh i practice but uh but sorry for the delay. Anyways, uh, thank you so much oh, for the... No problem, no problem. <laughs> Feel free. Yeah. Thank you so much for the pre uh, introduction. Uh, so, uh, so this is the title of my presentation. Uh, it's still, uh, it's working, right? Yes, we see your Done? check screen. Yeah, it's, a, it, it's working. Right? It's gone, it's gone. Uh, it's gone? It's gone again, yes. yes. Let me let me do this again. Okay. Uh, is it working now? Uh, Work. Not yet. Very good. Try it again. Okay, so it's working, right? We have time. Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Right. yeah. We can see now. Yeah. Okay. So uh, the. Uh, uh, the title is Shamanism as an Identity in Korean Documentary Photography. So uh, it all started from a question from my friend uh, almost 10 years ago. So one day he asked me, hey, Yongja, what is Korean Documentary Photography? Can you introduce me anything? Uh, at that time, I picked up uh, a book, photo book. Uh, uh, I'm, a, I'm going to uh, show you that work. Uh, it's a work by uh, Lee Gap Chol. Uh, it's about uh, shamanism, but I had no idea why I picked the book at the time. And since then, uh, as a photographer and also uh, as a uh, semiotist, uh, that identity uh, per se uh, followed me all the time. So uh, uh, with this uh, presentation, with this opportunity, I would like to invite you to uh, look through uh, documentary uh, photo uh, which deal with uh, shamanism and also in, uh, also want to introduce introduce Korean documentary photographers work to you uh, so hopefully I hope you to glance at the uh, Korean documentary photography and also uh, I want to get uh, some inspiration and ideas uh, from all of you uh, to nourish the, uh, the discourse of uh, photography in, in South Korea. So let me start from the uh, uh, introduction to Korean shamanism. So sh shamanism, uh, I, I think uh, all of you already uh, know the uh, the term. Uh, it's actually, uh, it's from, uh, according to a study, it's from a uh, Tungusic uh, language, uh, possibly from the southwestern dialect of the uh, Yevenki, uh, spoken by the Sim Yevenki people, uh, or from Manchu language. So it's a religious practice that involves a practic uh, practitioner, shaman, uh, interacting with the spirit world through altered states of consciousness, such as trance. So the goal is usually to direct spirits or spiritual energies into the physical world for the purpose of healing uh divination or to aid human beings in some other way 
So in Korea, uh, Korean shamanism has been passed down through the lives of uh, people for thousand years, shaping their spiritual and world views before foreign religions such as Taoism, Buddhism, Confucianism, and Christianity uh, had spread uh, spread it uh, in the peninsula. So the first foreign religion diffused in the country was Buddhism, but uh, it was only in the late fourth century, uh, while shamanism has existed since the beginning of the first century, according to the records. So shamanism has exi existed with a universal character and distinctiveness among the Korean people's religion, religious approach to mind, which was gradually integrated and systemized through antiquity. So shamanism was described by various terms, including folk religion, uh, indigenous, uh, all used by researchers, uh, researchers and believers alike. So in all cases, shamanism could be explained through the exorcism ritual called good. Uh, the shaman, uh, we call shaman Muda or Manshin, uh, serves in the roles of clergy and master of ceremonies, uh, wearing specific costumes for the good. So they arrange the tools, paintings, flowers, food, offerings in the shrine uh, according to the shamanic rules and create the most uh, auspicious environment for spirits to capt uh, captivate. The shaman also chants shamanic melodies and dances to their spiritual music while telling stories about myth of heaven, earth, and man. Thus, this rite of good performed by the shaman can be understood as a total cultural assembly, both tangible and intangible culture of Korea. So this ritual has been enjoyed as a traditional performance art form and has evolved from a source of word of mouth into a written document for both literature and scholarship. So therefore, uh, shamanism, which had been established as a belief of the people, has constantly advanced and has been widely practiced not only the rituals of communities, such as worship of village gods and mountain spirits, but also in family unit ceremonies for reasons like birth, death, full recovery of disease and comfort. But historically, uh, things got uh, changed, uh, especially from Joseon Dynasty. Uh, so Joseon Dynasty uh, is ranged from uh, 1392, uh, was 40, uh, 14th century to 19th century. Uh, shamanism was defined as superstition. So there were still shamanic rituals held for uh, rain and good harvest in village. So not only was the court ceremony performed with shamans, but also shamans were assigned to public health center to handle uh, the relief of the people along with medical doctors. So uh, uh, we can say uh, Confucianism and shamanism coexisted outside and inside of life of chosen people. But uh, things got more uh, complicated uh, during the uh, Japanese colonial period. So Japanese imperialism called for the prohibition and destruction of Korean shamanism. Uh, by uh, de-ingrating uh, it as superstition. But at the same time, they kept documenting shamanism rituals good to understand Korean culture and mind to fortify their occupation uh, ultimately. And after the independence from uh, Japanese colonial, uh, colonial ruling in 1945, uh, Korean Peninsula underwent into turmoil. Uh, we experienced Korean War, and right after that, we, uh, we had the uh, uh, industrialization, modernization, urbanization, and uh, all of that uh, tarnished our own traditions and culture. So um, the, the cultural properties protection law was enacted in 1961 to protect and inherit national culture. But again, uh, the more pressure uh, suppressed uh, the, the, the shamanism tradition in, in Korea. The third president, Park Chung-hee, uh, his dictatorial uh, regime, uh, the national campaign uh, called Semal Movement, uh, is new, uh, it means new community uh, movement, defined tradition as uh, pre-modern and expelled and demolished, uh, including shamanism in, in the name of uh, modernization. 
so the uh, Korean shamanism uh, experienced the turmoil and a huge pressure uh, over uh, centuries. But uh, from early uh, the uh, the twentieth century, uh, the people, uh, especially uh, folklorists, started documenting and archiving uh, the uh, Korean shamanism. And among the uh, many folklorists, uh, Song Sok Ha, uh, he is uh, known as his uh, uh, the, the the great works uh, body of works about the uh, documenting Korean folk tradition. Uh, he started his work under under Japanese colonial government of Korea's direction uh, from 1920s and continued it till 1948. So he documented over 10,000 photos and donated 1,761 photos to National Folk Museum of Korea. Uh, unfortunately, rest of um, uh, almost 9,000 uh, photos were uh, demolished during Korean War. So anyways, uh, among the, uh, those uh, 1,761 uh, 1, photos, uh, 324 photos uh, are about Korean shamanism. So though uh, Song Sokka's work uh, was assigned by a colonial government, he clearly expressed his own purpose to document uh, diminishing uh, Joseon's own culture in 1933. And actually, Song founded uh, Joseon Folk Society in uh, 1933, and also a Department of uh, Anthropology at Na uh, Seoul National University uh, after the independence from uh, Japanese Imperial. And also, he founded in, uh, National Museum of Anthropology in 1946. So uh, he is the uh, uh, kind of the, the, the uh, big figure, a uh, big, uh, really important figure, uh, not only uh, for shamanism, uh, uh, the tradition, but also for uh, Korean tradition and culture. So these four pictures are from his archive. So uh, he approached uh, shamanism ritual good uh, as an anthropologist, and he took the, uh, the pictures. But uh, before moving into uh, next era, I would like to show you this picture, uh, which means uh, so many things to the audience. Uh, so the, the picture is uh, a portrait of uh, Muda. Uh, sorry about the misspelling. Uh, so it's, it's automatically uh, changed it. Uh, it's a Muda, uh, the shaman, uh, Shaman Zhang Dian's picture. So anthropologist uh, Lim Dong-gwan uh, so took a picture and uh, took many uh, uh, the shamanism rituals. And one day, uh, Lim asked uh, Zhang Deon uh, to send her picture to him uh, for archiving purpose. And then uh, the uh, shaman, uh, Zhang Deon, sent this picture, uh, sent him these pictures, uh, and he, she scratched her uh, face uh, to uh, not to reveal her identity uh, because during the period of time 1966 uh, the shamanism uh, ritual uh, was prohibited uh, prohibited by uh, uh, the by the government so she didn't reveal her face uh, to the audience so we can imagine uh, the uh, the big pressure from the government and the uh, uh, which uh, the the uh, which shaman uh, had to suffer from, but things uh, changed gradually. Uh, in 1970s, uh, the, the uh, there there was a great uh, photo journalist. Uh, his name is Kim Sunan. Uh, so actually, he started his career uh, from monthly magazine as a photo journalist. And he encountered good for the first time in uh, in Gerong Mountain uh, in 1973. Then he never looked back. He uh, he kept working on shamanism uh, for the rest of his life. So Kim traveled the whole country and documented Korean shamanism over 30 years. So as a result, he had published 20 volumes of opus about Korean shamanism from 1983 to 1993 and his family donated his entire archive 
uh, over uh, 170,000 photos to National Museum uh, after his death. So he uh, once said, uh, quote, in this time of uh, tribulation, I was with the shamans in Gupan, uh, which means uh, ritual, uh, shamanism rituals, uh, from mid 70s to the mid 80s. Good was accused of superstition by society, uh, persecuted and suppressed by the administration and despised by other religions. So it was as if they were about to disappear. I wandered around the country's Gupan as if I had been born with a mission, mission to document these goods. So let me show you uh, some photos, uh, some works by uh, uh, Kim Sunam. How about that? Uh, it's only 12, uh, it's a period to uh, show you only 20, uh, 12 pictures uh, from his, uh, the amazing archive. Uh, so let's say hello to uh, Kim Sunam, uh, <laughs> dancing uh, while he's working, uh, uh, taking pictures of the, uh, the, the good. So uh, Kim Sunam established himself as a, one of the uh, uh, greatest uh, photo journalists, documentary photographer, uh, in South Korea, and also he uh, he set up a kind of monumental uh, body of work when it comes to uh, uh, the Korean shamanism. And then uh, the whole uh, the uh, we we uh, we encountered uh, we entered into a new era. Uh, then after Kim Sunam, uh, quite a number of uh, photographers. Uh, followed his path and also produced a very meaningful uh, body of work about uh, uh, Korean shamanism. So among them, I want to start with uh, Lee Gapchul's work. So Lee Gapchul is one of the most prominent authors in Korean documentary photography. So he published a book titled 충돌과 반동, uh, Conflict and Reaction in 2002, and established his name in photography and artwork. So ambiguous, so realistic, unfamiliar, and sometimes ominous, uh, ominous are the terms to describe his style of trophy. So he said, uh, my subject matter moved from social issues to Korean tradition, and I tried to capture the identity of Korea or Korean and something spiritual uh, through the uh, uh, shamanism work. So le let me show you his, his pictures as well. So as you can see, uh, compared to Kim Sunam's pictures, uh, Lee Gapchul's photos are more uh, aggressive and more am uh, ambiguous and more grainy and uh, the contrast is stronger. And we, we, can, we can sense that uh, the Gapchul's approach is quite different from uh, uh, Kim Sunam, uh, the way of taking pictures. And also, I'd like to show you uh, the other photographers. Uh, so first, I would like to uh, introduce An Se-hong. Uh, he's known for his life work of uh, about military sexual slavery by Japan. Uh, so once we, uh, it, it was called Comfort Women. Uh, uh, he has kept working on this subject matter since 1996. 
but also he introduced a body of work about Korean shamanism called Chakdu, uh, Folder Chopper, in 2019. And he said, good uh, is the moment when spirit and human are interconnected smoothly. And also there's a, another photographer called Park Chan Ho. Uh, he published the book titled uh, Jinogi, uh, which means indicating the road to return and acclaimed the global reputation by critics, including New York Times. So he approached and documented shamanism to overcome and brace his mother's death and trauma against the death. And Lee Hangu, uh, he started documenting shamanism from 2009 intensively. Uh, and his interests are focused on the space, surroundings, and atmosphere of shamanism. And here are the, uh, their works. As, as we can see, uh, An Seung's work uh, shows more movement and uh, more aggressiveness. And uh, some pictures look uh, very gorish uh, compared to uh, uh, the uh, Kim Suna or Yi Gap Chow's work. And these pictures are uh, by Park Chan Ho. And these are uh, Liangu's work. So as I mentioned on a previous slide, uh, Liangu uh, focuses on surroundings, atmosphere, uh, and places, spaces. So, so far, I, uh, I've shown you uh, the, uh, the four, uh, five photographers' work. Uh, so, uh, uh, I, uh, I uh, for this presentation, I uh, try to uh, modelize. Uh, I'm, so, I'm so sorry for interrupting. You have five minutes left. OK. Uh, so almost the end of the presentation. So, uh, okay. So let me let me finalize the uh, uh, my presentation. So, uh, so I uh, I used uh, the two models uh, by Gramas, uh, Gramas semiotic uh, square and uh, actinton models. Uh, the reason is to uh, the modelize and the visualize the how the photographers uh, approach it uh, shamanism. Uh, as a subject matter, and also uh, uh, as a photographer, how did they, uh, how how they are uh, expressing their identity as a photographer through the uh, through their body of works. So uh, at the beginning, uh, for Korean folklorists and Kim Sunam, uh, from a Japanese occupational period till uh, 1980s. So as you can see, the uh, shamanism as a subject matter was prohibited or not allowed it. And uh, things got changed uh, uh, after 1980s. So uh, photographers from a after 1990s, uh, for them, like Yi uh, Gap-chol, An Seong, and Park Chan-ho, Liang-gu, uh, the, the shamanism is not the, uh, prohi prohibited or not allowed anymore. But still, it's not modern. But at the same time, it's not pre-modern. And also for all of them, for Korean folklorists and photographers, uh the shamanism is uh the something uh to the, the object to protect an object no need to uh demolish the, the interestingly uh the i analyzed the uh, uh, uh their the approach uh, the photographer's approach to to their work uh through grandma's actor model so kim sunam's case uh which is uh, who established the uh, the monumental work uh about shamanism 
he uh, the the established the uh, his body of work uh, under the pressure from government and modernization against uh, all of that uh, with the uh, historical cultural zeitgeist, uh, zeitgeist. and eventually he uh, achieved uh, uh, the, uh, the the great archive a uh, grand archive to express the identity of uh, identity of Korea for people of Korea and other the scholars. So upon this model, uh, the other photographers uh, established a different approach uh, because he they had to uh, surpass or differentiate uh, their work body of works from uh, previous work on shamans, especially from Kim Sunams. So uh, uh, under the uh, the authorship and distinctions. Uh, they uh, establish the photographer their own identity as an author and artist uh, through their works. So these two the uh, uh, models are uh, my uh, analysis about the old uh, shamanist uh, photography, uh, documented photography. And for last but not least, I want to uh, thank all of the people who supported uh, my presentation, especially uh, Sabseon the curator and director of the uh, Art Space Lumos, and also uh, great uh, the photographers, uh, Gap Chol, Seho, Chano, Hangu, uh, for providing me with the, uh, uh, their works uh, with any uh, restrictions. So uh, this is my uh, the presentation, and thanks for listening, everyone. Uh, and that's all. Thank you very much.